Officials at the Internet Cafe say they warned him that's not something you do in public and to put his pants on. The motorcycle menace in Liberty City continues, Mike Whiteley reporting. That's right, Weasel has exclusive HD 3D surround sound coverage. Weasel News. As you can tell by this gratuitous graphic and urgent sound design, the biker menace is a real problem. Many claim that ethnic gangs are the major threat to safety in Liberty City right now, but lawmakers say the reality is it's lawless motorcycle gangs that are pushing society to the brink. Police report increased criminal activity by the three major bike gangs in the greater metropolitan area. The famous Angels of Death Motorcycle Club has claimed for years that they're just a social club for alternative lifestyles, but some chapters have recently been implicated in major drug dealing and transportation rings. But don't just take our word for it. Seen here in this surveillance footage is the most feared and notorious biker gang in America today. Despite their protest to the contrary, the Angels of Death are known by some for their extreme violence and right-wing values. They're obsessed with gang supremacy and will go to any lengths to maintain it. Lately, they've been working on their public image However, police warn that's just a smokescreen to draw attention away from their acts of murder, narcotics distribution, and extortion. That's right, Mike. A bitter rival of the Angels of Death is a gang also causing havoc on the streets of Alderney, the Lost Motorcycle Club, a multiracial gang that claims to be all about freedom and their own moral code. Law enforcement reports indicate that the Lost has become significantly more active in recent months, despite the gang's president, Billy Gray, serving a short time in court-mandated rehabilitation after numerous drug offenses. Also present on the motorcycle gang scene in Liberty City are the Uptown Riders. Riding highly powered imported sports bikes, they prefer fast Japanese machinery and hip hop to choppers and death metal. But their gang is just as deadly. They're believed to be involved in smuggling weapons, attacks on individuals, and extremely dangerous racing through heavy traffic. So far, the police don't have a sense of the scale of the problem, but have asked for more money from the economic stimulus package. What is known is that all of these drug-fueled motorcycle gangs are a serious threat to all of us. Mike Whiteley, Weasel News. Coming up next, are peanut allergies turning your kid gay?